Now, if you know me, you know I enjoy my music. I enjoy listening to audiobooks, uh, podcasts, and stuff like that. Now, when I go uh, off road and so forth, up until right now today, I have had a series of speakers like this. Now, this is a JBL Charge, what the hell they call it, Charge 3. Now, a little fun fact about this little speaker right here. It actually sounds, has pretty decent sound quality to it. My wife gave this to me, uh, geez, a good couple years back. Here's a little secret that you're going to keep between you and I, though. Sure, I can keep a secret. This is not actually that speaker she got me. What happened to it? What happened was I had it on my, my trailer, wasn't paying attention, and uh, accidentally knocked it off. It fell on the ground because it does have some pretty decent weight, and my luck, it hit a rock on the end, and it actually ruptured one of the speakers. Well, that sucks. So that was that was it for that. Um, and so I went out and bought another one so she wouldn't think I jacked up a gift that was only a month old at that time. So, at any rate, we're going to be reviewing a speaker today, as the title of this probably gave it away, and that is this guy right here. This is the Deemer Box DB2. Now, the fact of the matter is there are a couple different versions of these things. You have the DB1, which, you want to take a wild guess, it has one speaker. Then you have the DB2, which, as you can see, has two speakers here. And the cool part about these things is you can actually, on their website, you can actually build your own model, you know, through the various different colors. And actually, I don't know if it's going to show, but you can actually see the various colors here. But I was tooling around on their website, and you can actually change uh, a lot of the colors. Oops. Uh, hand placement doesn't look right. Anyways, what the hell? This right here, you can change these grills, uh, the colors, and you have all sorts of different assorted colors on these cases. Now, these cases, these things, many you know, my other company is Photography Talk. We're a photography, I'm a professional landscape photographer. So, in the world of photography, there's a camera, there's a case manufacturer that is world renowned for their cases and they build cases for a lot more than just photographers uh, but that is pelican but these things are actually made out of pelican cases which is pretty stinking cool because pelican cases are nearly indestructible like a tank so what excites me about this now full disclosure they sent this to me to tool around with and all right so the box is pretty much a box okay hey that thing looks pretty stinking cool uh I actually like the color of this, the red. Now, again, they have a quite a handful of different colors, and the box is over there, but I'll put it up on the screen here so you can take a look. The red really pops really nice. Now, boom. Hey, that is, that is a damn good-looking speaker. Now, before we go cracking this thing open, let's have a look or chat about what the Deemer Box DB2 has underneath its hood. So as you can see, size-wise, this thing is, it's actually well-sized. It's 10.62 uh, inches by 9.68 by 6.87 inches. So it's extremely, I mean, look at it, it's portable and it weighs less than 5.44 pounds as well. Now the speaker housing is in a military spec, as I mentioned, Pelican case, which is highly durable, crush proof, and waterproof. Hell yeah. Now in the front of this here, you can see there are two speakers. Now these are three inch eight ohm aluminum cone speakers with rubber surrounding drivers, which are capable up to 94 decimals and 11 watts per channel. Now the speaker is Bluetooth enabled and has a hundred foot line of sight range. So there's also a 3.5 millimeter audio jack for connecting your devices as well. So if you have multiple Deemer boxes, you can actually connect these things via Bluetooth for a truly robust out in the field sound experience. All right. All right. Now there's a 2600 milliamp lithium uh, ion battery, which offers up to 40 hours of playtime between charges and requires about four hours of charge to go from zero to full charge. Now the speaker case also doubles as a small storage container for snacks and other small items or whatever the hell you want to cram into this thing. But wait, there's more. And there's even USB charge port inside this thing. So if you need to charge up your phone on the go, 
Hey, well, this thing has you covered. Now, the DB2 also comes with the AC charger, a 3.5 millimeter stereo cable, and a plug port and a quick start guide inside this thing. Of course, I'm getting, we're going to crack this thing open here in a minute. Anyways, now here's one of the things I really admire about Deemer Box. You know, whereas a lot of companies are manufacturing overseas and so forth, these guys are are making these things by hand. These speakers right here in the United States, and it does come with a 60-day satisfaction guarantee as well. I mean, what's inside that box? But enough talking about that. Let's crack this thing open and let's see what we're what we're working with here. Okay, so you have oh, this is a oh, there's our charge cables right there. All right, all right. That's kind of uh, there's all sorts of stuff all in there. Okay. All right, so this is, here's your handy dandy charge cable. And here is your 3.5 millimeter cable there. You have a little uh, service thing. Okay, so super cool. Okay, so you can see, yeah, I mean, it's a Pelican case. And so all the electronics and all the goody goody stuff for the speaker is right kind of incorporated into the top of this here. And I watched the video. So this is, it's fine. So this you unscrew. Okay. So here is that rubber grommet. I've seen people, what they do is when you go into sand or water, you cram that sucker in there, give it a couple turns. So, it's, okay. So it's a compression fit. Okay. Boom, boom. Oh, that's easy. Oh, hell yeah. That is pretty darn cool. Now I could fire this puppy up right here, but I think it would be better to showcase it in a natural environment. So let's pack up, go camping, and see how the DB2 performs in the real world. Oh, I, I know what you're thinking. Alex, you're in a different shirt. You're in a different hat. Yeah, I know. Weird how editing works. No, seriously, though, this uh, this video that you're watching right here, I'm pointing to my computer, assuming you know what I'm pointing to, but my computer's right there. Anyways, so what you're watching here, actually, technically, I filmed 30 days ago, and as I started editing this video, I started realizing, I'm like, man, this is nearly a $400 speaker. And while this video is being positioned as a first impression of the uh, the DB2, um, I started thinking, I'm like, man, I have no experience with this speaker, and it's a $400 speaker. And so I decided to pause releasing this video so I can get out there, spend more time with this thing, beat the hell out of it, throw it around, literally, throw it around, uh, and see whether or not it's, again, $400 is a, is a lot of money. So even though this is a small item, I wanted big sound out of it. So hence the reason I spent quite a bit more time. And, you know, after you hear me, you know, shut up here in a minute, I'll get back to the normal video and you'll see me where I'm three days or a few days ahead of the, uh, what you've been watching so far. And I was impressed with it then, but I did decided to spend about 30 days, hence where we are right now. And the reason for that is if I'm getting in front of you, even for a first impression video, I really wanted to make certain that this thing delivered what I had hoped that it would. And the fact that this video you're able to watch right now, it does. Small speaker with a big sound. I absolutely love this speaker. So over the course of the last uh, handful of weeks, we've been up in Big Bear quite a bit. And though it hasn't seen any rain or any, uh, you know, any negative weather and so forth, but um, yeah, this thing is an absolute champ. I don't know why I said rain, but either way, I look at this thing and I'm like, this thing is quite durable. And you'll see more on that. We have some really fun plans coming for this thing in the in the near future here. But anyway, that's it. So I wanted to, you know, I wanted to jump ahead and kind of give you a heads up as far as why the delay on this video going live. And that is just simply, hey, I wanted to make sure the getting in front of you, this thing was worth the money that they charge for this thing. And now one of the things that I noticed over the course of the last 30 days with this thing is how can I present this to you so you can appreciate how this thing sounds? I could play this thing right now and putting aside whatever music I play on, it's probably gonna give me a copyright ding on, on YouTube. So, but even still, you listening through this, through this mic, through your computer speakers, or if you have headphones on, it will probably be better. But regardless, you're not going to be able to appreciate just how well, how good this thing sounds. So getting in front of you right now, it's, I'm just going to do my best, kind of like our uh, our freeze-dried meal reviews. I try to give you the, the best impression or the best visual taste, except we're talking about sound here. This thing sounds really good. Again, 
You wouldn't expect it from something so small as this, but this thing punches way out of its weight class. With that said, well, I'll let you get back to watching the uh, version me from 30 days ago. Needless to say, I've been very impressed with the Diemervox DB2 thus far. It is, well, as we spoke earlier in the video, compact, lightweight, produces... Man, the last handful of days, I've really enjoyed the great sound that has come out of this thing. And the quality of materials and the construction is, I mean, again, it's a speaker in a Pelican box. Yes! In fact, I'm so impressed with the quality of this thing that it's going to be featured in our upcoming holiday gift guides along with the DB1. Again, that is the, the single speaker version of this. So keep your eyes peeled out for those, which will be cranking out in the upcoming four-wheel drive talk in the very, very near future. All right, friends, before we go signing off here today, I have, a, I have a little secret to share here with you. I have two of these DB2 speakers right here. One of them is going to be my the one that's going to stick around in my turtle bike uh, trailer for when we head out to our adventures. The other one, we're going to have a little fun. So much fun, we're going to call this Will It Jam. Will It Jam, you say, Alex? What, what do you mean? What's going on? Well... These, have you ever wondered how much stress test one of these cases can take? Or better yet, one of these, an indestructible, I don't know whether they coin, coin it as an indestructible, but it's a built like a tank speaker, so why not have a little fun with this? I'm listening. So we're going to have a video coming up, and I'm going to start, and actually I'll give you a hint, I've already started with this, will it jam? So you're the other speaker, we're going to see how much torture this thing can take and will it jam? Will it work? Will it still turn on? We have some really cool plans from running it over, throwing it off, sticking it in mud, dirt, dragging it behind my truck. Yeah, baby. Actually, if you can help me out with some cool things that we can torture these speakers and ultimately after each one of these torture tests, what we're gonna do is turn it on and will it jam? So leave a comment down below if you have a cool effed up idea of what we can do to one of these speakers and see if it will jam. All right, friends, that is it for me here today. So I'm going to be turning off the cameras. You get out there, stay healthy, and uh, yeah, we'll see you during the next video. Take it easy now.